Hello, my name is Mickey and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing just a classic little get ready with me because I have a lot that I just want to chat about and I want to see how you guys are doing. Now, if you guys are new here or you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos and always my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is definitely not the place for you. I mean, no filter bitch and I have no idea what's going to come out of this potty mouth, so keep that in mind while you're watching. So if you guys just want to hang out a little bit and chit chat and get ready with me then just stay tuned oh, it has been a long month my husband and I if you guys didn't know because I always repeat this in every single video because it's like still surreal that we have driven all the way across the entire United States almost the entire United States to get to where we are now now my husband and I now live in Tennessee we live in rural rural Tennessee so basically the middle of freaking nowhere life has just <laughs> drastically changed for us all because I have never in my entire life lived in an area like this and so I just wanted to kind of sit here and put on some makeup because I have to go into town I actually have to drive a lot and for a while to get to any kind of shopping or malls or anything like that it's been really really different for me here because it, I was already having a hard time adjusting when we moved to Washington because it took me you know 20 25 minutes just to get to like the mall or to go grocery shopping well actually grocery shopping maybe took 10 to 15 minutes to get to but here <laughs> it takes about 30 minutes to get anywhere and that means 30 minutes of actual driving and then you're like in a town so you have to do some extra driving depending on where you want to go so today I thought that I would just kind of unload my experiences that I've been having and just kind of you know talk chat and get ready with you guys maybe you guys are doing your makeup maybe you're cleaning the house maybe you're cooking and you just need something to listen to and I am here to blab on for however long this video may be. <laughs> Today I'm just putting on mostly drugstore products. I have really just been liking um, light coverage, like everything recently, especially how warm it's getting here in Tennessee. It's just not the same as Washington. I can't really wear like a thick load of makeup because it kind of just tends to melt off of my face, <laughs> especially with the humidity here. But my body is slowly adjusting and the dryness has slowly subsided on my face, which I'm really, really happy about because because it took four fucking ever to get the dryness off of my face. So today I'm just using some simple drugstore products. I'm actually using the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Now, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos where I said I really do not like this product. And so I'm just kind of trying other products that I never liked in Washington because the weather here is completely different. The humidity is different because there's a lot more humidity here. There's almost zero to no humidity in Washington. It was always either extremely cold or just balls hot, but always dry. My skin is still getting used to all the humidity, but it has definitely been enjoying it. Now, now, the reason why I don't like this putty primer is because it adds too much of a sheen to my face but right now I'm noticing it's not like too freaking shiny I think I'm gonna have to turn the light down a little bit because I feel like the contrast is a little too bright so grab your guys's coffee tea juice whatever the hell you be drinking my husband and I are now on my father-in-law's land and we decided to purchase a trailer before we got here which never again you guys do not ever I'm telling you this from personal experience do not ever buy anything that you have not seen in person or at least seen pictures of before you're moving into it or buying it or whatever, especially when you're buying something that's as expensive as a trailer. We kind of left it to other people to get us a trailer and it was it was the worst mistake because for weeks and weeks I kept asking, can I see pictures? Can I see pictures? And nobody would give me pictures. And then finally, like three or four days before we left Washington, I got pictures and I was like, okay that's that's what we're living in i knew it was 29 feet so i knew it wasn't gonna be a big trailer but the inside y'all is so fucking outdated it is a 2011 i believe trailer and that thing is crusty as all balls y'all when i say that that thing is outdated it is really really ugly inside my husband and i had a really big shock with that as well because we were not expecting something so 
don't want to say crappy, but just it's just not our style at all. And we're going to be living in this thing for at least eight months. And so I wanted to be very comfortable. I wanted to have a lot of room. And I know, again, 29 feet is not a lot of room, but I wanted to be able to freely move in there, have space for the animals. But let me tell you guys, that thing is tight. It's so hard to cook in there. So we've been doing very easy cooking. So we're probably not going to be eating very healthy for the next, you know, eight months to a year either because it's so hard to cook. If you guys have never been in a trailer, don't look at any bougie trailers. Look at trailers from like 2010, 2011 and look at a 29 foot trailer and you will get an idea of what we have to work with. Let me just say that trailer living has given me a newfound respect for having a home or even living in an apartment and I will never ever fucking complain about how small anything is ever again or take for granted having a actual fucking shower that where you can bathe your entire body body with hot scolding water because I am one of those people who need the water to be as hot as Satan's taint or else I cannot get a good shower. I just don't feel comfortable. I don't feel clean. The first night we got here, we had to take a whore's shower and that means like the important areas of your body and it was a nightmare. I could not stand it. I actually let my husband take a shower first and there was just no more hot water for me at all and so I just did a quick like little you know horse bath and then my father-in-law was like no don't worry about it you can just come to the cabin anytime you need to take a shower and so that's what we've been doing we have been walking our asses from the trailer to the cabin every single night just to take our showers because I need that hot shower every single time we go and take our showers at the cabin it's usually around eight or nine o'clock and it is so beautiful I always stop in the middle between the cabin and the trailer and just look up at the stars because there's not as much light pollution as there is out here as there was back in sub like any kind of suburb area whenever you live in a suburb or a city or any of that kind of stuff it's really hard to see the stars because of all the light pollution out here we live in the middle of fucking nowhere like literally it takes me 10 minutes just to get to the main main road <laughs> so that is how far back out here we are there are cows deers chickens goats literally any kind of farm creature that you can think of I have seen them on these farms out here and it is so freaking beautiful but every single time we go to the cabin I or walk to the cabin or walk back to the trailer I always take a second to just look up at the stars because it is so gorgeous and I also love the sounds out here like I love hearing like the bugs and the crickets and the cicadas and all that good stuff because it makes me feel like I'm not really near anybody and the older I get the more I want to be away from people now ever since I was younger I never really enjoyed being around a lot of people I just always liked keeping to myself I don't know if you guys know this or if I've ever mentioned this but I'm actually an only child and so my entire life I have just always been alone and when I say alone I don't mean that in a bad way at all it has been extremely different living this kind of lifestyle compared to what we were living like before so we have been here for a month pretty much to the day and I had not seen all these deer that everyone keeps fucking talking about and everyone's like oh they're all over the place I had not seen one up close and personal until I almost ran one over the other day because there was a doe that was kind of like running across the road and I got so excited because I was the one driving and my husband was in the passenger seat I got so excited I was like oh my god it's a fucking deer that I actually forgot to push on the brake so I just kept going my husband's like uh you know push on push on the brakes what are you doing I finally saw my first deer that was you know crossing the road and I just thought that that was so amazing and awesome and I just got super duper excited that I almost <laughs> made us hit the deer also you guys I've been having just so many of these National Geographic moments that's what I call them because it's things that I've only seen on National Geographic or on TV and it's so freaking cool I saw my first millipede ever it was just walking around the gravel or walking across the gravel when we were on our way to the cabin to take our shower and it was just so freaking cool and the way it crawls over the gravel it's just like so cool it almost looks like it's floating because they just have so many legs and don't get me wrong bugs scare me but it's a millipede like it's not really gonna do anything now a centipede is a different fucking story okay those things are not cute I don't want to see them and I'm not gonna sit there and take a video of it and feel like I'm having a National Geographic moment it's not how that works but a millipede 
is just something that I have never ever been able to see in real life. That night was actually very eventful because after we saw the millipede, we were walking down the kind of driveway up to the cabin and I saw, oh my god, it's so crazy. I saw my first ever armadillo. It was so fucking crazy. I'm actually going to post a little video up here of it because I got to see it so freaking close. So my husband and I were walking and this was after we saw the uh, millipede and we heard some noise in the uh, bushes or in the woods and my husband's like, stop hold on and we have this really really hefty like flashlight that thing was like fifty dollars it's like got the strongest led whatever light i've ever seen and so he kind of like zoomed in on like this little area and all you see is this little armadillo crossing the road and at first we were like oh my god that's a possum wait no that's an armadillo wait no it has hair and the armadillo was actually heading towards the basement door and that's where we were headed as well i was just mind blown that i was able to see a freaking armadillo that fucking close i was just oh my god you guys i was so excited i was having a total nat geo moment and i just I, I was so mind blown i was so fascinated by this thing because i had never ever seen an armadillo like in real life in front of me crossing the road armadillos are really fucking cute okay they're just super duper cute especially like their faces their tails really creep me out though because they have like a weird rat tail like thing but I was just so fascinated. I had my husband, I was like, you can go and take a shower first because I'm gonna be out here with our little friend just because I wanna hang out with him. Like, I just kinda wanna, you know, see what he does, see how he moves and reacts. In Washington, you don't see that stuff unless you actually drive into like the wooded area. I know a lot of people are like, you live in Washington, like didn't you ever go hiking and all that stuff? No, I actually didn't. But here you just walk around and we live in a rural area anyway, so you just walk around and you are bound to see something. And so that night it was just so cool. I was so mind blown because of the armadillo. And then after we took our showers on our way back, a possum crossed in front of us. So that night I saw a millipede, I saw an armadillo, and I was able to see a possum for the first time as well. So it has been extremely crazy ever since we got here, for me at least, because I am having just all these new experiences that I have never been able to have before. Now, when I tell you guys that I have had a sheltered life, I'm not kidding in any way, shape, or form. I have been sheltered my whole life, and I've lived in a little tiny tropical island, so there's a lot of animals that I have never, ever seen, except for maybe when you go to a zoo or, you know, you watch TV. Also, I'm so excited because I believe in maybe one or two more weeks, we should be getting our UTV. It has, like, a little trunk, and two people can sit on it in the front, and you drive it around it's basically a golf cart that's what i should have called it so we got ourselves a little tiny golf cart thing so we can start driving from the trailer to the cabin instead of walking all the time because i mean it does rain here and so a lot of the times when we walk from the trailer to the cabin we get pretty pretty wet so we decided to get our little golf cart guy and that should be here in a couple more weeks because they said four to six weeks and it's already been around three and a half four weeks so hopefully we get that soon and we'll be able to just golf cart our asses to the cabin and back to the trailer and so I'm really excited to get that as well the first week we actually no the second week we were here um, or when, after we arrived, we decided to drive to the next town over, which was like an hour and a half away. And we decided to go look at some homes because we weren't really sure if we were going to do a stick build, which is like a traditional build where, you know, they build a frame, they build the inside, all that good stuff, and you build it on the spot. So wherever your land is, people come out and build your house for you. The other option that we were looking at was... A modular home now I want to state that modular homes and mobile homes are two completely different things if you guys don't know the difference mobile home is a home on wheels you can move it but you have to move it with a huge freaking truck also a mobile home does not have a foundation so that means if you want to move the home as long as you have that huge you know what is it 18 wheeler 16 wheeler I don't know what Americans call it but as long as you have that big ass truck you are able to move your mobile home now a modular home actually sits on a foundation on your land so once the company or wherever you're building your modular home from or choosing your modular home from they build it for you 
wherever their building area is and then they put it on a truck and they bring it to your land but they set it on a foundation so once that modular home is set into place it can no longer move you can't pick it up like a mobile home and then move it somewhere else and that's kind of what we're aiming for now modular homes and mobile homes the difference is that modular homes are also more uh, reliable and safe and more sturdy. Now, I'm not saying if you live in a mobile home, like you're not safe or anything like that. No, I'm just saying that modular homes are a lot more structurally sound because it sits on an actual foundation rather than a mobile home that sits on wheels. We went and looked at some modular homes and we found one that had almost an identical floor plan to ours, except there needs to be changes here and there. So we're gonna be making those changes, but for the most part, it was almost spot on to what we wanted originally. And so for me, that's really exciting because it's like I don't have to choose a floor plan that I just really don't like. I'm one of those people who are very, very freaking particular about where everything goes. Like for the longest time, I hated our first apartment because the laundry room was in the kitchen, if that makes sense. So you have your kitchen and then you had to go through the kitchen into the back to do your laundry. And I hate that because if someone's cooking in the kitchen and you're trying to do laundry it's just a whole mess like it was so tiny and it was just too much traffic going on in one little area and I really really fucking hated that also something that we're trying to add is a doggy bathroom the mud here is like on a different level it's like clay mud and so when the girls go out and it's been raining for a couple of days and they step in that mud it gets caked into their paws it is such a bitch to get out and so I wanted a personal like little doggy bathroom where you bring them in right from outside so they don't make a mess in the entire house you spray them down hose them down give them a bath or whatever and then they're on their merry way and I wanted it to be in the laundry room that way if they did happen to make a mess I could just throw everything into the washer and everything's in one room and the mess is contained a lot of people find it weird that I want a dedicated uh, shower for my dogs but that's just the way that I want it because it's gonna make my life easier and it's gonna make the dogs lives easier because I don't have to track them through the entire house just to get them into a bath to get them clean so hopefully that makes sense the other thing is that we like to have a really big living area we're not someone who likes closed off spaces so we want a open floor plan and the one that we found has a very nice floor plan again with few minor changes the other thing we're going to be putting is a basement so we're going to have a basement and then once we get the basement done that's where our modular home will go is on top of the basement foundation so right now the reason why we're waiting so long until October November time is because first you actually need to I, I did not know this you guys I this is all brand new news to me so maybe you've known all this because you may live out in the country or something but this is all new to me this is all culture shock because not only does Japan do things differently but I've also never lived in a rural area in the states either but first before you build anything or even break land break land meaning dig a hole to start your basement or foundation or whatever before you do any of that you have to build a septic tank at first I was like what the hell are you talking about septic tank like I thought everyone just had one you know no you actually have to build your own like hole in the ground so your poopy water has somewhere to go and I did not know that but in order to do that you have to get a septic tank license permit whatever so a guy has to come out here look at our land and kind of assess you know where our house is gonna go all that good stuff that guy takes anywhere from four to six weeks to come out because apparently he's the only guy in this area that does that and so he's gonna take his sweetest time and so that's what we're actually waiting for right now is for uh dude bro to come out here and just kind of assess our land my father-in-law has already um kind of mapped out the area where we're gonna put our house but the thing is um, here in this state every state is different I believe but before you build a house you actually have to have that land in your name and so right now our father-in-law is trying to cut us a piece of the land but he can't do that until October and so that's why we're waiting once the guy comes out here and looks at everything then we will finally start breaking land but that will be for the septic tank and then we'll be able to break land for the basement but in order to put an actual modular home on top of the basement, the land has to be in our name and that cannot happen until October. Hopefully I'm making sense. I know I'm talking a lot. The other thing about living out here is that there's so much noise. There's always 
gunshots or helicopters or airplanes or whatever this and that and literally everything you can just hear because it's you know in the middle of nowhere so you can hear everything and I like it but I don't like it because when I'm trying to film with you guys it is a lot of noise going on back there but anyways I have just really been enjoying like everything since we moved out here. I also feel a lot happier out here than I did in Washington. And honestly, it's because of the vitamin D deficiency. Now, a lot of you guys may not know this, but in Washington, there is not a lot of months where there's actual sun and where it's beautiful and you can go outside and actually tan. There are maybe three months out of the year where you get really good sun in Washington. Other than that, it's either rainy, gloomy, cloudy, or what have you, but you're not getting enough vitamin D. And so anybody who lives in the state of Washington, they always say this, no matter where you go, what doctor you see, they will tell you that you are vitamin D deficient because you just cannot get enough vitamin D out there. And so my husband and I had to take vitamin D pills just to feel, you know, normal. Also, I have seasonal affective disorder. So Washington just was not the right state for me to be in. When you have seasonal affective disorder, that means once the winter months come or fall and winter time comes and it starts snowing and getting cool not even cool but cold your body starts kind of um i don't want to say shutting down but it kind of gets really really depressed and down and seasonal affective disorder you guys i have been dealing with that for a really really long time and it really took a toll on my body because around october through february i would just be this miserable bitchy depressed like just sad person i would be just a shell of myself and i really hated that now that my husband and i have been here for about a month we both feel very different now i'm not saying right off the bat we've been here for a month so we are completely brand new happy people no we have been continuing to take our vitamin d vitamins and we have just really noticed that both of us are a lot happier here we're a lot more at ease um i don't feel always like oh, oh my god um stressed at all here the only thing that's really stresses me out you guys is just living in a 29 foot trailer and trying to cook and do all this other stuff there but other than that i've just really been enjoying our time out here it has just been so nice and quiet i don't have to think about really anything when i'm out here right now it's just a waiting game for all of our house stuff to come together and getting all the paperwork and you know the right titles and um the what do you call it the licenses and the permits and all that stuff and then once all that is set in stone then we can start the house process so you guys will be seeing a lot more vlogs here in the near future about the house stuff but as for right now it's just a waiting game so i went ahead and threw on some mascara and some lip gloss and i'm pretty much ready to go i apologize because this video is probably super duper long but i just really really wanted to sit and chat with you guys and just share my experience Experiences that I've been going through and I'm pretty sure there are gonna be a lot more experiences to come because again sheltered child here so there's a lot of things that I just find so fascinating and new and you guys are probably like oh that's my everyday life but for me it's just something that is so different and so new and exciting and so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed me chit-chatting with you guys and maybe killed some time for you but I just love doing get ready with me videos because it gives me a chance to update you guys on what's going on with my I mean not so uh, spectacular life but I also really enjoy hearing other people's like get ready with me's and watching them as well so hopefully you guys get as much enjoyment from my get ready with me's as I do from others so that is it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you if you did please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos and as always if you have any tips tricks questions or comments leave them all in the comment section below and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye Bye.